Good evening again from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending loads of love as usual. Um, I keep being asked uh, repeated questions over the months, weeks. Sometimes I can answer, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I don't feel to, sometimes I feel to. And sometimes the time is right, if you get what I mean. So you ask me if I know Mark Lambie, well, I have to say to you that at one stage, I would say I was part of North Star Gang. You get what I mean? Culture, when it first come. Every single member I had a, I had a relationship with, and I've got many, 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 many favorites out of that group. Now they talk about Mark, they say some awful things that have stitched him up, that have basically, you know, put him in a position where he's whole life, you know, just because of what other people say, basically. You know, in that kind of way, they've made his life difficult uh, over gossip, you know, so I'd have to say that to start with. I've uh, got to feel it for him for that, because sometimes you can get punished for things that you, you, they think you've done, but you haven't done nothing, if you get what I mean. But yet, yeah, uh, he came to jail. I knew, saw, I knew him outside. He, he was friends with uh, one, of my, one of my homeboys, Sati. Uh, from way back in the day, so I knew him briefly, around about the uh, Rap Attack days and Fresh Beat. I don't know if you don't remember them days. Um, but Andrew N Nelson as well, like Whitemore, Nelly, strong. I could tell you a time when Nelly, he took shots, big shots, first into the cell, wrapped him, and then took tops in straight afterwards and wrapped him. So, that, yeah, I mean, were you telling me? But Mafia, obviously, I got I had so much love for Mafia. Uh, very, very serious man. No playing about there as well. Uh, there was a clash once in Whitemore uh, with one you as well, and you know everything was drawn. But you know he come out good as well. You see, and I see him again another time. Another one that likes to just get him, likes to protect me quite a lot. You know, like that. And obviously. Uncle Mal, you know, that the, 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 all, all those that remember North Star, you know, everybody's leading a different life now. Uh, but, yeah, Nelly, Mafia, my boy, Red Boy. Never forget Red Boy, you know, from Ipswich. Uh, originally from London as well. Like, I obviously, me and him used to move real, real hard as well. And obviously, I did jobs there as well uh, around about that time uh, for the team. Let's put it, let's have it right. Uncle Uncle Mal, I know anyway, uh, from a long time. Uh, huge respect for him. Uh, but one that really, really tickles me. And I believe, who I believe, who, who could stand up to anything. And he's one of the most fearless. And I won't say, can't, I can't say his, fault, his name, but all I can tell you is he's, it starts with W. Whoa, I'll call him, we'll say Whoa, yeah? Whoa, whoa, well. <laughs> So I was to call him wicked, but him, my days, he was ready. He was serious. And he used to laugh at everything as well. I used to like him, I did. I liked all of them, all, every single one of them youngsters, even Leon Smith when he first come, Uncle Yami. Uh, I remember when he had the fight with, um, not, uh, not my Quincy from Brixton, Quincy from uh, Bermondsey or somewhere, when they had the one and one on the yard in Belmarsh. I like to referee it when he was only he was about 17, 18, Leon then, and then I saw his brother, his brother was in High Point, recently I saw him, but in the K's North Star, there was a big, big, big stay, and never forget Shimmy Aiva, was part of the team as well, you know, and I had, I had a lot of love there for Shimmy as well, me and Shimmy, they were all mine, they, in the beginning of time, it was me, it was always, always, I was, I, I, the, the, gee, you're going to laugh at it, you can say, yeah, your voice has gone squeaky again, but in them early days, when the norm, when everybody, when all of us went to the K.A.'s, uh, it was Uncle Yami, with all the youngsters, with, when they were 21, 22 and 23, they never lost no battles, they, Northside had it up for quite a long time, at certain stages, uh, they were a real force to be reckoned with. Uh, never forget that. I'll let you lot know that. And that's the absolute truth. And that's not because I was part of it. Uh, and obviously I was riding, riding that side of town as well. Uh, but I must say, you know, you know, Mark, and I, I never saw enough of him outside to really have too much time. I saw bits of him when I was, when I was young. Obviously you hear things, but 
nah, I ain't seen enough. I, I can't give no nothing about outside life really about Mark, but I consider him a friend. That's the best that I could do probably with that. Uh, but them not in, in the categories when we was all together, it was madness. Even Chev, Chev, you know, everyone seems to forget Chev, you know. You know, talking about, my, um, what's his name the other day, um, Diney, Ricky Sweeney, um, the, the Muslims, the direct school thing that, um, you know, but it's my little boy as well, Ricky Sweeney, Diney. Uh, but he was with me, with me as a boy, Diney. And he does this, he does do this little thing uh, when he's ready. Everybody's got to be young sometimes and got to learn first when you come and you're watching and whatever and you handicap a little bit. Uh, but yeah, proper, proper, proper. Please don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I played my part. I was part of the team. And to be honest, straight up and down, I loved them all. Uh, and I all wished them all well. But I just hope my man, my little favourite one, I said, to, well, are you, are you? I just hope he's all right now and he's back out and about. Uh, but sending loads of love, yep, North Star was part of it.